Kapil. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that I have understood intellectually certain truths. What I believe to be the maybe the most critical of truths about this life, this existence, um, my place in it. But it, it's absolutely clear to me that my actions day after day, week after week, my actions clearly show that I have not understood or internalized viscerally these truths at all, like not one bit. And I, I know for certain that if I had, my actions would be entirely different. It makes me angry and I think more so disappointed to have this like invaluable knowledge and then to willfully waste it as if I have any time at all to waste. And I, I ask of myself, like, why am I not serious? And I have found honest answers from that. So my question is, am I asking the right question of myself? Thank you. No one is, no one is serious. It's like I always say, you might find one or three or five on the planet who are truly serious. Everyone's yeah. brainwashed. The brainwashing is too deep. It doesn't matter what you understand intellectually. Now, that might help, because if you don't know it at all, then there's no chance at all. But um, but like you said, you've examined, and, and it's only an intellectual understanding. And, and like that's fine. There's no judgment here. But why are, you could extrapolate that question to why is no one serious? No one's serious. Everyone's just a window shopper. Everyone's kind of... We know, wake up, brush their teeth, do whatever they do, go to sleep. I'm not that, though. I'm not that. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the details are. It's irrelevant what the content is. It, 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 it isn't, if you don't do that, then, then, then you're better. That's good. No, it doesn't matter what you do. The seriousness is a extraordinarily rare thing. And... I am continually shocked as to why I have the number of people who, for whatever inexplicable reason, happen to read my work because there shouldn't be. There should be, you know, about 98.9% less. Because it's not, it, it requires seriousness. I'm not going to cater to the masses. I, I I have no interest in the masses. The masses are just the masses are like filler paper. They're just filler. So, so no one is serious. And that that's it's it's kind of like saying, well, how come I'm not a legend? Well, no one's a legend. Who's a legend? Even the people that you see on TV, how many of them are legends? Not legends. They're just professionals. So if you look at every walk of life, if you look at every every field, every discipline, every craft, every profession, from business to sport to art to whatever it may be, everyone's just a commoner. And it isn't because they don't have, like, like they couldn't be not uncommon. Sure, it's possible. But but everyone everyone sort of lives in the same mold. They listen to the same things. They they're they're just too busy doing nonsense and thinking nonsense. And the the, the virus, the number of viruses that they've been affected with by society, like. All the antibiotics in the world couldn't cure that. I mean, I mean, it, it, it doesn't. 
no one is serious. No one is truly great. And that isn't, and that is not the result of lack of capacity. That isn't a result of, you know, in the professional world, lack of talent. It's every, there are many things that I will say that I will go to the grave with, many things I'll never even reveal. But even the things that I'll reveal, it, it, it's almost as if I never revealed them because you won't understand. And you might under, I could say tree, apple, car, and you will understand tree, apple, car. But the what, what lies behind that of what I'm truly saying, it might take you 475 years. And after 475 years, you might say, oh, so that's what you meant. Yeah. And how foolish I was to think that it was just tree, just apple, and just car. But I, I'm, I'm not going to dumb it down either. I'm not going to. I'm not going to dumb it down so that you'll get it sooner. Like I don't. I don't. I don't have any interest in that. Me dumbing it down isn't going to let you get it sooner, anyways. Um. So, it, you know, truth. You know, the great things in life. The greatest things in life require someone to reach. They don't run a handout. They're not there for me to come down. I'm not. I'm not up to begin with. But I, but I'm not going to come down to to dumb it down. So the people who are willing to reach and reach so much that their arm comes out of their socket. The, no, that's. No one. Well, that's insane. So this knock against yourself, I, I'm not serious. I mean, you, you have to put it into context and understand. And, and uh, I'm not saying it's okay because others aren't serious either. I'm not saying that. I'm not using any comparisons trying to make you feel better or feel. It's. It's. You have to understand that you saying that you're not serious is. You probably wouldn't say it in the same. Um, you would probably wouldn't be as exasperated or surprised if you were to say, I'm not a legend. But I'm not serious seems like it should be more attainable. No one is serious. Everyone's a commoner. They think common thoughts. They do common things. They do the little socialization and ha ha he he get together with their friends read a bunch of books about stoicism and talk nonsense at their cocktail parties and and so how smart they are because they're intellectuals or or they do their yoga mats or they whatever the hell they do but everyone in this world is lost lost roaming around in the soup of confabulated and manufactured concepts and they live their lives trying to live up to those concepts. And they do this and they do that and they believe in this and they don't think like that and they eat this and they do that and practice this and be mindful and X, Y, Z and A, B, C. That's just the, – the, they have the, – the number of carrots that are dangling in front of them since the day they were born are endless. And they live their lives chasing those carrots. And that's conditioning. That's brainwashing. And there has never in their life been another option. And when there's no other option, when there's nothing opposite to what they've ever been told, when that is all they have seen, all they have thought, all they have read, all they have heard, on every street corner, in every room, in every minute of their lives, it would be unrealistic and impractical and fantastical to expect them not to be brainwashed. 